three is three hundred times ten over three. Four two three Kelvin. So three W four CP times T three minus T four is Boston chamber four uh, Q five is equal to CP T five minus T four. We know everything we need to know for that. We know the T five is twelve hundred Kelvin. And for the turbine, uh, work is we know what T5 is, we don't yet know what T6 is. So, again, using the fact that the turbine is isentropic. and has a full pressure ratio of 10 across it. So we can find out what the turbine work is. Uh, 5w6 is equal to should be Kelvin, as you've surely noticed by now. Um, okay, so we have found, I think, all of the heat and work transfers in the engine. So let's make a table to uh, summarize this. Okay, um, and on this table we'll I'll include both the simple cycle and the uh, intercooled cycle. Compressor, combustion chamber, uh, turbine, and let's include the network output as well. Uh, so we haven't done the simple cycle yet for the intercooled uh, cycle. Our compressor work has uh, two components. We've got two compressors, two compressor stages. Uh, One eleven point two. Um, and one two four one eleven plus one point two sorry one eleven plus one two four would be um two three five point oh kilojoules per kilogram combustion heat transfer seven eighty point seven uh that is positive turbine work is positive work 5184 581.4 kilojoules per kilogram and the network output then is work that the gas 
does for us in the turbine minus what we have to give back to it in the compressor. Okay, and we can also find the efficiency, thermal efficiency. Um, so work output divided by the heat input. So we get an efficiency of 44.4%.